I'm Alice McKenzie and welcome to What's a Preacher to Do? A series of brief interviews in which we interview scholars from various disciplines about their wisdom for preaching in a time of COVID. Today, our guest is Dr. Robin Lovin. Dr. Lovin is Carrie McGuire University Professor of Ethics Emeritus at Southern Methodist University. Thank you, Dr. Lovin, for being with us today. Thank you. It's, it's nice to be with all of you in this way. Well, thanks. So I have a, um, a simple, I suppose, short but not easy question, and that is, uh, what is a key insight from your expertise in Christian ethics that would be helpful to a preacher trying to craft a sermon during this difficult time? That's a large challenge, as you suggest, but there is one idea that's central to Christian ethics, and I think we're rediscovering it in these days. It's the idea of vocation or calling. Hmm. That was particularly important to the early Protestant reformers who taught that it wasn't just the clergy and the monastics who were called out of the world who have a vocation. They said that all Christians are called into the world to the work that they do with and for other people all the time. Hmm. And I think we're learning today how important that is to the people in our congregations, even if they've never heard us preach a sermon about it. Hmm. Of course, I think first of the doctors and nurses who've been on the front lines in the hospitals, and even before we knew how to handle these cases, even before we knew how to keep healthcare workers safe, they were saying, this is where they want to be. Hmm. This is their calling. And we saw retired people and people from other parts of the country going to New York and Chicago to join them because that was their calling too. And I've been struck not just by the healthcare workers that we, you, you know, every, every night at eight o'clock here in Chicago, I hear the horns and uh, the uh, beating on the uh, dishes and so forth as, as people salute these first responders. But there's so many other people in these difficult times who see their jobs in that same way. There's the checkout clerks at the grocery store, the delivery people and the truck drivers, and teachers putting together online learning and all sorts of other jobs. And what they're telling us is what our theology ought to tell us, which is that a job isn't just a way to make money so you can enjoy your time off. It's a way that we connect to other people and to God. We need to remember that as we encourage people who are doing this important work. We have first responders and health care providers in our congregation. And we need to remember it too as we support the many people who've lost their jobs, that it's not just the paycheck that's at issue here. A vocation is an important part of what gives meaning to our lives. Hmm. And that our faith teaches us that everybody has a vocation, not just the clergy, not just the people with a lot of education, and not just the people in important positions. Hmm. So I think it'd be a good use of our vocation if those who preach and teach could use these times to help people in the church appreciate their vocations hmm. and learn to live point. into them more fully. Yes. So if... if um if a preacher is feeling overwhelmed and somewhat discouraged in this, in this context where there's so much death and negativity, what would be, what would be a way that, that we could describe uh, our, the impact of our calling on people? Ah, well, I wonder whether, uh, you know, <laughs> there's always the danger that we make it about us. Right. Uh, so, so I think it would be more important to, to pay attention to where we see those vocations going on in the world around us. One of the things about being clergy in these times is clergy, even if you're not having person-to-person -person contact with people, clergy are still much more connected than other people are, it seems to be. And, and so you're going to have a lot of opportunity 
to uh, see people living their vocations. Mm. And I think paying attention to that and telling those stories in a sermon, since, since we're all doing online worship, you might even find a way to have some people record their reflections on their vocations on, on video and then incorporate them in, into worship. So, so this becomes a celebration of the vocations that, uh, that we all share as part of our congregational life. That's very helpful. And so when we keep hearing this motto that we're all in this together, yeah. I guess you would, you would say we're all in this vocation together. Exactly. And the preacher yeah. needs to honor and uh, lift up the uh, vocations of others. Yes. As our vocation, yes. I suppose. Yes. So, well, thank you, Dr. Lovin, for uh, being with us uh, today. And uh, preachers, be on the lookout for the next installment of What's a Preacher to Do?